Welcome to Mishnah Study Masachat Yomah Perek Chet Mishnah Aleph. Over here, moving to this last Perek of Masachat Yomah, we're going to speak about what we are and we're not allowed to do on Yom Kippur ourselves today, right? When it comes to fasting, when it comes to other laws, when it comes to the laws of Teshuvah, right? That's all going to be based in our Perek. First, we're going to jump in what's a surah on Yom Kippur. Um, we do know that the language of the Torah, right? There's five times right, that it mentions the word of inui, right, right, it means to afflict yourselves, and Hachamim learned from here that there are five things that are asur to do, um, we'll see all, you know, four of them are going to be asur mid rabbanan, and really the connection is in asmachta, just a hint in the pasuk, one of them is going to be, um, you know, asur, um, and, you know, hayab uh, karet and that's going to be eating and drinking on Yom Kippur. The others, we'll see, um, is Asur, and uh, if a person violates them, the Hayam Makat Mardut, right? Uh, you know, uh, lashes for rebelling, um, you know, against Hachamim, the words of Hachamim, but the others, the other eating and drinking is going to be Duraita. So Yom Kippurim, Asur, Ba'achilah or Bishtiya, that's going to be considered one, right? You're not allowed to eat uh, or drink. Um, we'll see the sizes of it in the in the next Mishnah. And Bam actually has it as part of this Mishnah, right? But we'll see that it's going to be the size of a big date with a uh, you know with its pit, which is a little bit smaller than the size of a kapitza. And drinking, and drinking is going to be melolugmav. We'll see later on, right? Which is a cheek full, right? If you if you move all of the um, um, all the liquid to one side and it's sticking out, right? It bolts out. That's a cheek full. Right, that would be a cheekful, and that would be hayav on uh, Yom Kippur. Um, less than that, again, you'll be hayav still a uh, midrabanan, it's still a sur, right? And maybe midoraita, right? According to the Yohanan, it's even a sur midoraita, right? But we'll see um, that you're not, you're not gonna get karet for that, right? So eating and drinking, um, those are a sur midoraita. What else are you not allowed to do? Rahitza, ubi rahitza, washing, ubi sikha, anointing oneself with oil, bini ailata sanda, wearing leather shoes, ubi tashmi shamita. Right, uh, having relations, husband and wife. Period. Now, Hamelech veAkala yirhatzu et penehem veAhayat in order to sandal the vred Abili Ezer. Right, so seemingly according to the Rishalmi, at least it seems like all this is the words of Abili Ezer, a king and a uh, newlywed, right, a new bride is allowed to wash their face. Right, a king always has to look uh, presentable and handsome. Melech biofiot hazena enecha, right, from pasuk from Yeshaya. And the kala also, we don't want her to be mitkane al baala. Right, we want to always look pretty in front of her uh, husband, and therefore we allow them to wash their um, wash their faces. That's according to Rabbi Eliezer. Hachamim 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 say no, it's not allowed. But halacha is like Rabbi Eliezer, and that's how Rabbi Posek in the Mishneh Torah as well.